Our next award is the Frederick and Lucy Kellogg Award. It is presented annually to an individual or institution exemplifying the couple's sense of community responsibility and social awareness and embodies United Way's vision of a caring community. This year, we are proud to present this award to Dr. Peter Jacoby, Director of Emergency Services for St. Mary's Hospital, who excels on all those points. He has been a familiar face in the community, especially over the past year, as we face the challenges of the pandemic. Working with local leaders in front and behind the scenes to stay ahead of the changing pandemic landscape. But his impact reaches back much further. Dr. Jacoby began volunteering in the greater Waterbury area 40 years ago and has been providing his medical expertise to many nonprofit efforts locally, nationally, and internationally. In addition to providing medical support for the Woodbury Volunteer Ambulance Company, the Committee to Address Assault at the State Level, and multiple children's camps. Dr. Jacoby has contributed his time as co-chair during the successful 2011-2012 United Way of Greater Waterbury campaign, speaker for a wide variety of organizations, and board member and or board chair of St. Mary's Foundation, the Palace Theater, Connecticut Community Foundation, and Wellmore. His leadership and insights have been called upon time and again throughout our community over the decades, and we cannot thank him enough for all he has done. We are proud to present Dr. Peter Jacoby with the Frederick and Lucy Kellogg Award. Good evening. Let me start by offering my congratulations to the other award winners tonight. They are all well-deserved and I am thrilled to share the stage with them. Since receiving the phone call, I have asked myself multiple times, why was I awarded this prestigious award? To receive this from the United Way of Greater Waterbury is truly an honor. When I look at other past award winners, such as Joe Gugliotti, Sandy Senich, Kathy Smith, Dan Lever, and the rest, I am truly humbled to think my name would be listed with theirs. And one person in particular who I will mention later, Mr. Bert Albert, who taught me so much about philanthropy with the art of giving and the art of asking. Four years ago, my wife Kristen and I gave the commencement speech at Post University. Not surprisingly, we both talked about philanthropy. And I talked about human philanthropy. In the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, it defines philanthropy, and I quote, goodwill to fellow members of the human race with active effort to promote human welfare. A second definition is read as an act or gift made for humanitarian purposes. So I will reuse that phrase called human philanthropy, which is simply goodwill to fellow members of the human race to promote human welfare. Human philanthropy for me is the act of volunteering. Every thought and action of support, every gesture of encouragement, every thank you to a person for the job they did. Philanthropy, of course, is also giving money. Molly Kellogg, when accepting her award for the James C. Smith Spirit of Excellence Award, mentioned how her father taught her to give until it hurts, at least a little. And that is why those of us in this community who can afford to give need to give until it hurts more than a little. I learned the art of volunteering from my father. He escaped Nazi Germany in 1936 and arrived in the United States in 1939. He learned English among his four other languages and became a board certified psychiatrist. Part of his philanthropy and his way of giving back to the community in which we lived was by starting the free psychiatric clinic associated with Mount Vernon Hospital 
and by working for free as the psychiatrist for the Mount Vernon Board of Education. Granted, these were only two mornings every week, but he spent the rest of his time working so his family could afford a nice life. As I look back on my life in this community, I realize how fortunate I have been over the years. I came to Waterbury in 1977 as a medical resident at St. Mary's Hospital and started my work as an emergency physician in 1980, 41 years ago. However, I realized that to live in this community, I needed to work in this community and I needed to immerse myself in this community. And so I began to volunteer and donate. My first organization was actually a United Way designated group, the Pearl Street Community Center. I joined their board and later became chairman of their board. A short while later, my then COO asked me to join the Morris Foundation board, the precursor to Wellmore on whose board I again sit today. I served on other boards such as the St. Mary's Hospital Foundation, the Connecticut Community Foundation, and also the Ambassadors of St. Mary's, and now most recently, the Palace Theater. All of these activities, among other things that I have done, have given me the opportunity to appreciate the Waterbury community and develop lifelong friendships. In 2011, 2012, my wife, Kristen, really took a gamble and allowed Paul Largay, AKA Dr. Travel or the fake doctor, and me, AKA the real doctor, to co-chair the United Way campaign. I encourage all of you to look at the video on the United Way YouTube station entitled, Who Says Campaign Chairs Can't Have Fun? Before I close for the night, I need to mention two people. The previously mentioned Bert Albert and my wife, Kristen. Bert was a master at asking for money for a cause he believed in. He would always call me and ask for an appointment and speak one-on-one. -on -one. And I learned from him how to develop a personal relationship and have that direct contact, which then makes it so hard to say no. As for my wife, Kristen, she actually made me into an uber philanthropist. We all know how difficult the last year has been. I could not be more proud to tell people how Kristen took on this challenge in such a different way. A year ago, while I was making phone calls telling people about positive COVID tests, talking with the chiefs of police and the mayor, Kristen was calling donors and asking for extra money to feed and clothe the less fortunate those affected by this pandemic in such a devastating way. In our household, I appreciated the effect it had on the medical community, and Kristen appreciated the effect it had on the social aspects of the community. I will close with a thank you to the nominating committee of the United Way of Greater Waterbury for giving me this prestigious award. This United Way does so much for this community and is such a vital part of it. For me, the award is a nice honor, but because of my work, I have already been awarded with friendships, good feelings, and a sense of fulfillment so that people actually think I was born and raised in the Waterbury community. To my wife, Kristen, who has taught me so much about life, I will just say what a great life we lead together, and I love you dearly.